we do get a break after the 4th of July from okay. the, you know, 100 degree-ish temperatures. It's going to be like low to mid 90s for a few days. Mm. But the holiday itself blazing hot. Very hot. Yeah, 100 degrees. Again, just like today, 100 degrees. The high today, that was number two for the year. The low this morning was 80. The normals are 93 and 74. So we are above, the, uh, above those by quite a bit. The record high, 112, set back in 1980. Still have a surplus of rain for the year, which is nice, uh, 8.66. Um, I'd like to keep it that way if we can. So, uh, unfortunately, not a lot of rain over the next 14 days. Right now, it's 98. Feels like 107. Excessive heat warnings in effect for the Metroplex and surrounding areas. Heat index values tomorrow as well, around 110, if not a little bit higher in some spots. The actual air temperature tomorrow in Dallas, about 100. In Fort Worth, 98. In Denton, 98. In McKinney, 99. 96 in Athens, Corsicana 96, 99 Breckenridge and Graham. And then you factor in the humidity, 110 is what it's going to feel like for Fort Worth, for Dallas, for Waxahachie, Greenville, Sulphur Springs, uh, all have high, high heat index values above 100. I want to talk about the tropics and our next soon to be named system, which is going to be barrel. It will be tropical storm barrel. Right now it's just a tropical depression, so it still has some organization and strengthening to do before it can be classified as tropical storm barrel. We expect that to happen possibly by tonight. And if not tonight, certainly tomorrow morning. A tropical storm at uh, 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. There is a Category 1 hurricane barrel by uh, Sunday afternoon. That's 2 p.m. with winds of 75 miles per hour. As it moves towards St. Lucia, it'll, it could strengthen up to a Category 2 with winds of 100 miles per hour. That would be Monday. And then watch as the track becomes a little more uncertain. You see the cone uh, widening out quite a bit. Tuesday afternoon, 105. That's a Category 2. Wednesday at 1 o'clock, 90 mile an hour winds at Category 1. That's near Jamaica. Uh, so we're going to have to watch carefully. You know, this is as far as the track goes. Some of the models, and, and here's where the uncertainty comes in. Some of them bring it out back into the Atlantic. Some bring it right into the Bay of Campeche. Some bring it right into the Gulf of Mexico. So that being said, it's just one of those things. You just Let's pay attention to it. You know, it's after the 4th of July that we expect it to be at least a potential impact for areas along the Gulf. So we will watch it. The other thing that we're going to watch, the Saharan dust. Yes, dust from the Saharan desert in Africa blowing across the Atlantic. And that will move into our skies, this yellow shaded area. Watch this Sunday night going into Monday. That plume of dust will move into North Texas. So Monday night could be an interesting sunset. That happens a lot when you get these dust particles in the air. You get some really interesting reds and oranges. Uh, and some other things to expect, kind of a brownish haze in the sky, some dust on the cars. Air quality will reduce as well. That will be for the beginning of next week. Tonight, 81, mostly clear, warm and muggy. Tomorrow, 98, hot and sunny, humid too. Excessive heat warning in effect. 14 day forecast. Look at that relief. July 6th, July 7th, July 8th. And if you're new to the area, just know that that's about as good as the relief gets this time of the year. I know it's not a lot, but we'll take it. Middle 90s, some scattered showers and thunderstorms are possible uh, on that following weekend after the 4th of July. Kaboom Town in Addison on Wednesday, obviously a humongous event. Just looks very hot, but dry. The 4th also looks hot and dry and temps climb back up into the triple digits for the end of the 14 day. 95 does feel amazingly good after you've been above 100 for several days. It's a sad low bar that we've set for <laughs> ourselves, but yeah, you're right.